Hey everyone, what I'd like to do in this video is show you how you can reset MSI Afterburner. This is very useful if you've got any kind of overclocking problems or you've got any problems where MSI Afterburner is applying the wrong settings when you start up your computer. It's something that I was experiencing. So what was happening in my end was that every so often the computer would freeze and everything was pointed towards it being MSI Afterburner because when I launched my computer, it was launching at like 65% power and plus 200 clock. Now it was doing this despite the fact that I didn't have any profile saved. This was a setting that I tested one day and despite deleting all those profiles there, it was still applying them at startup. Now what I would do is when the computer launched, I would go in and I would change it to 100 and reset all the settings. And for whatever reason, after a while, it would apply again. And you know, it, you know, that's when my computer would freeze and, you know, some on my end, no one wants the computer to freeze, but for me as well, doing YouTube videos, doing streaming, something that I can't have. Now, I uninstalled the software and I reinstalled it. Didn't do anything. You'd have to use a, you know, like uninstall software that completely removes everything from the registry. But there is a simpler solution. So just imagine just now, I don't have any profiles set up just now, but you can imagine that if I had to change the power limit down to 70, 70 80%, which I'm not going to do just now because I'm recording, um, but you know, you know, imagine I put the core clock up and the memory clock down, etc. I could save that as profile one and then lock it, and then I could change something else and apply different settings into profile three and five. And you know, I can apply one of these settings at startup. So if it is launching up and your profiles aren't being uh, launched or for whatever reason you delete all the profiles and it's launching, it's launching using the wrong settings then what you can do is reset it and this is how you do it. So I'll close this off just now and I'll go to File Explorer. So this is in Windows of course. Uh, I'm going to go to C Program Files 8 x, x 86 sorry. Um, I'm going to go down to MSI Afterburner and then go to Profiles and all I did was delete all the files here. That's it. So you go to C, Program Files X86, MSI Afterburner Profiles, and then when I launch up MSI Afterburner, those profiles will be gone. If I can find it, there we go. Um, there we go. So you can see it, it's changed everything. It, it's went back to the, the, the older design. Um, I normally choose the red one. I can apply those settings again. And you can see all the profiles that I saved have disappeared. So the profiles have disappeared, all the settings have disappeared, and if I had any overclocking settings or anything, those would all be reset. Now, of course, you have to do this with care. Don't do this if you've set, for example, a GPU fan curve. Take a note of any settings that you've adjusted which you think are important, because you are going to have to go through and set everything up again. If you want to go back to default or you've just, you know, changed a few settings such as, you know, the memory clock, that's fine. But if you've actually went in and you've spent a lot of time adjusting all these settings and, you know, remember that if you went in and set a, a, a custom fan curve or anything like that, you're going to have to set all that up again, which may be a pain in the ass. But I did find that this has resolved the issue. I was experiencing a huge amount of problems with it. It was a royal pain in the ass, and really that's what it came down to. That's what it came down to. It was the the settings for whatever reason were a little bit corrupted. I don't know why it kept uh, defaulting to settings which weren't even there. So I don't know what was happening, but I do know that if you go into the profiles area and just delete all those files, everything should be okay. So hopefully this will resolve your issue. I know you know there's other issues that could arise, but if you've got any problems with MSI Afterburner, this is one way to resolve the issue and hopefully this will resolve it for most of you. Thanks for watching guys and I'll speak to you all in the next one. Take care.